Folks, you heard her. It's time. Afra on stream. I'm so excited. Yeah, this will be sweet. Uh, so uh, this is uh, I think this is um, the winner of our right. I think Ryan won our last event. Okay. I can't remember. Is he Rebel Resource? You know. Uh no. Uh oh, that's, that's Ryan Warner. Okay, never mind. This, this is not the okay. That ex, that explains why I messed that up. He was not in attendance today. So I can't run it back. Uh so never mind. It is not, but have you played a lot of this offer deck at all? I have, played? yes. <laughs> okay. Can you give me a rundown of what it's gonna be trying to do? It's basically a hard control deck. It's trying to get to no cards in deck and then loop restock to um uh uh mill your opponent out with vigilance basically if if it's like my version which i think it probably is i you know what's funny i screwed that up carlos was actually our last um champion because he the third one carlos won or the most recent one so uh we do have our previous champion and his opponent playing yellow boba is our the last person who won a misty event all right okay He's a, um, he's a great play, great younger player in the area. Him and his brother just are uh, kind of forces to be reckoned with in the Madison, Wisconsin area. All right. Uh, well, unfortunately, we don't have uh, Nick for this one. He had to go drive a friend somewhere, but he might be back in the future. So I got to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, I think... Um, uh, this matchup can be tough for the, the Afra, especially if the Boba deck is running Lurking Typhanum, which I didn't check if he was. Um, it looks like, um, looks like he is not. Okay. Uh, he is on DJs though. That's interesting. Uh, two copies of DJ. So I think it's, it's definitely possible that the Afra player takes this one. It's certainly possible that they could possibly win. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, so you might not know the backstory, but I made a, a YouTube video a while ago going over my profile of Afra, and I started it off with like a intro over music that um, sort of called out a bunch of other content creators that said Afra was bad. Uh, and she hasn't uh, nice. she hasn't proven herself yet, but I still think she is really good. <laughs> I love it. I also when uh when Afra got spoiled, I was like, this card seems really good. <laughs> I just I've come from other games where the discard pile is a huge resource, you know. Um, and I don't know. I I can see it. I can I can see totally see how this leader could really do some some busted stuff that people aren't expecting. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to see how what what happens here. Even against our buddy Carlos, who's a cool dude, he comes on. Their yeah. Looks like Ryan has the initiative. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm excited to see this Afra. Um, all right, uh, DJ opened for uh, for Carlos and he threw it in the resource row. We'll see if that makes an appearance. I'm I'm kind of intrigued by the DJ tech in there without you know tech, of course, and without the ability to defeat the resource. And I mean, he comes in for seven in this deck as a smuggle cost, but. 
See if like, it works. Offer pass, maybe, and uh, or and then we have a crafty smuggler. Yeah. From Carlos. Uh, that's that's one of the more annoying openings to deal with because it looks like uh, Ryan has a um. Uh, Cloud Rider in hand, which just doesn't deal with the uh, uh, crafty. Hey, and uh, Offer's gonna put a Rival's Fall into the yard, into the discard pile, it looks like. Yep. I think he's just going to start and, you know, bring him down so you can see everything. Or the dark side, Clearly. get rid of that crafty smuggler right away. Yep. Feels bad to have to use it on that, but yeah. He's going to follow with a mercenary gunship and a Greedo. Keep the threats, keeping two threats going. Probably more than an anchor deck, right? Uh, yeah, definitely, especially in this matchup, the uh, Boba yeah. deck is definitely the aggressive one. Uh, and putting out two threats is, is a great way to put pressure on the Afra. It's really, it's hard to to deal with multiple things at once, especially without a rolling yeah. barrage. I always thought that was the key with aggro against any of these control decks, because if you ever get stuck only putting a threat into play a turn, that's, that's pretty much exactly what they want, because all they want to do is play one removal spell a turn to get to that mid late game. Yep, there's that that old saying: you want to give your enemy dilemmas, not problems. <laughs> and uh, Ryan definitely has a dilemma here. Fire spray, crafty, and I think it's a waylay in hand for Carlos. And I think entrench two is that two copies on trench? Cloud Rider, Cloud Rider answers the Greedo pretty cleanly here. So now we are up to okay. three different costs in the discard pile. We got two, three, and six. Gunship's going to come in. Knock him for three damage. Uh, Dr. Pershing here could be big. Yep, and he comes down. That's going to allow Ryan to start getting some card advantage. Uh, oh, but Wayla is just gonna bring him back. Pull that down. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of fine All with that. Like, smuggler. it's just another card that's not gonna do anything. And Afra mills a basin. Uh, looks like uh, Ryan picked up the rival's fall. which can deal with the Boba flip here, or it can deal with the Fire Spray next turn. So, like, go it, being a little ahead going into this big Boba turn is, is pretty... has to be pretty huge, right? Yeah. Because he's going to get these so many more things. Swing. Yeah. It's like a Cartel Bouncer in his hand. Yeah, Just that's waiting. not great in this matchup, because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it would be. Not a ton of units. Keep the board clear, though. That's that's number one rule with any, any tempo style deck, you know, like uh, like Boba Yellow plays. Yeah. Get entrenched, comes down right away at Boba Fett after flip, after the flip. Yeah. Carlos can't like that. And Cantina yeah, Bouncer yeah. just coming in as a three cost, three power unit. Yeah, that's all I can do right now. So let's see, what are the costs we have for Afra? We have three, we have two, we have six, and we have, I think that might be it. I think it might just be a bunch of threes, twos, and sixes. <laughs> Uh, which means she can get a card back from the discard pile, but her, she's not going to be on for five power just yet. It's, that's not essential in this deck. Like oftentimes you don't yeah. want to flip Afra, um, because you just want to be milling as, as, long as, as can, much as you right? can, but um, um, yeah. No, just keep 
keep going up the yard. But especially like into more aggressive decks, sometimes you do end up wanting to flip early to gain control mm -hmm. of the board. Frozen and Carbonite coming we down. Initiative, so uh, Carlos is going to get his damage in. Yeah. Five. Six. Fire Spray. Yeah. <laughs> Another Frozen and Carbonite. How do you freeze a whole ship in Carbonite? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the third one. And Pershing picked up for Ryan here, and that's big. Yeah, I was going to say he's starting to get a bit low on cards, but Pershing should be able to recoup some of that advantage. <laughs> he still has the Pershing from before. I mean, he better resource it, I guess. I, I think he resourced it. But he just drew another one. Someone in chat said, you just need a bunch of carbonite <laughs> to freeze that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise track. Seems extra mean they tested on Captain Solo if they could have just put an inanimate object into the carbonite and tested it though. Yeah. And Bazine. Replace that resource. And it's a Toro Calican is the only card in hand. Um, you don't have to discard it, and I might not. Because, um, I mean, yeah, something a, else might be worse for you than, than that. Yeah, it's a better than the average card in their deck right now. Good way to think about it, right? Yeah. Uh, I think you, there's a, an argument that it is. You haven't seen um, any of the Bobas yet, so. And especially, like, but yeah, because that Boba can attack into it, and if you draw something more expensive, so. I think, uh, yeah, I think it makes sense to leave the, the Toro there. And it's like he's that entrenched. He's just going to trench that uh, smuggler. Yeah, so it looks like he's got a big board, but uh, really just... EJ, all right. I think... Um, I I think DJ is probably for a matchup like this, you know? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. It's like the going late, stealing resources. Seems all right. Repair. Oh, and he just top decked the takedown. Ryan did, which is just going to okay. clear DJ and get him that resource back. Yep. Take down the DJ, just like he called it. Did he? I think he spent five for that. Was that, that was a Should have been four. Okay. No, it was takedown. No, it was takedown. He just overpaid for it. Oh, he got the yeah. resource back tapped. Uh, no, he he spent five before he got the resource back. Oh, well, that's weird. Oh, yeah, they they yep. found it, it, saw it, had bolt on. Uh, there's Toro. Toro should be exhausted. I think that's is that Vanquish and Rivals fall in hand. And all right, Bosk and with this Toro out is pretty big. Let's him get the reset on the Toro. Mm -hmm. Uh, by my count, Ryan has four resources open. Let's see. I think we are one, two. I think I think we're at the point where Afra could flip and be a five-five. Uh, so we might actually see that soon. Because she would answer the Toro. But it looks like uh, not doing that just yet. Boom. Ooh, Super Laser Blast. Not ideal. Bounty Hunter Crew is a pretty good pickup here. Let's you 
deal with the boss and get something back. He's got to be blasting here, right? Getting three cards, effectively. Like, ooh, he just resourced a rival's fall. That's kind of risky, but I see if he wants to keep going. Oh, I'm just looking at this Afro list. It looks so spicy. He's got two frontier traders in there. And three bounty air crew. I had three Avengers, no Snokes or anything like that. Um, all right, looks pretty tuned. Discard check here. <laughs> <laughs> but if I remember correctly, he's got a one, a two, a three, a four, a six. I don't think he has anything. Or he's an eight. I don't know if he has anything else. Uh, did you see what he grabbed off the bounty hunter crew? I did not catch that. Ooh, hotshot DL44. That's going to make this Toro into a much bigger threat. And he has a four lama in hand to reset the Toro. <laughs> now I think he's regretting letting it stay with that Bazine. What do you think he has on Super Laser Blasted? Or is he... Uh, I don't think he, he has it. Or short uh, oh, he milled he the Super Laser Blast. I, I said he milled it. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. So hey, maybe he grabbed it back with like, the uh, Bounty Hunter like, crew? This is, I was like, this is the most patient control play I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely playing patient, but he's taking 23 damage, which is well, danger it, zone. It might not be patient by choice. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, he does play the blast. I'm not sure if he drew it or if he had grabbed it back with the um down inner crew. That seems like a pretty good moment to to blast. All right. Uh so Carlos Duck with the clear board. He's gonna bring out another best fire spray. <laughs> Here comes Dr. Afra. Uh, I think he's is that a repair? Yep, that is. Fire spray is not is not what he, you want to see here. No, 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 no immediate answer sucks. Um or the dark side. Yep. Yeah. I guess he's just going to roll for it. Or shuffle it or. Why the repair? They just, he's just that scared of his life total. I guess. Yeah. I guess, I guess that's all he can play. Ooh, I yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's something you can play immediately. He gets it back. Yeah. It's right. space he's here. That Covering at 28, two more damage is going to ruin. Yeah. Be a win for Carlos here. He That's had to claim. Uh, I don't Animal. know what gets him out of this. He Animal might have to draw like exactly Super Laser Blast. Because whatever he doesn't. Yeah, two. Oh, Vigilance would have been a good Carlos. draw here. That, that actually would have gotten him out of it, but he just milled. Or, oh, he he shouldn't have milled it with Afra. Oh, yeah, because Afra doesn't mill when she's flipped. This is okay. Yeah. So this is this is a judge call scenario, I think. Um, so he actually should draw this vigilance. Um, yes. Wow, what a draw, though. <laughs> yeah, that is actually one of the few things that gets him out of the scenario. But I've made that mistake of forgetting that Afra doesn't mill here. And 
looks like they're just gonna shuffle it back in and try what else. Oh. Shuffle back in's kind of hard. We all know it was the top card. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I, I feel I about that. Agree. I guess I, I do it. Well, I, I agree. Shuffle away known information, but for, it it only really um. He didn't make any. He didn't make. They probably didn't make choices to make based on that card. So it's really just like a revealed card. Yeah. To the opponent. Looks like. Oh, okay. He he he, he did draw the blast. super laser blast here though, so he's safe. Yeah. Um, it is. Yeah. Very fortunate. I think as long as both the players are, are fine with the resolution, it's yeah. a good resolution. So. Well, I. I don't know. In that situation, once, uh, like. I think I think you the judge decides what happens. Yeah. Is uh correct. All right. Yeah. Toro, I think two resources up for Ryan. And I think that last card is a Boba Fett for Carlos, which means he can reset the Toro here. Uh, Entrenched can come down, which would save him. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, he's going to entrench it. Carlos probably playing this Boba Fett, I would guess. Maybe a quick smuggle check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boba is rough here, but we know Ryan has the entrench, or not the entrench, the repair from earlier, which. Could save him. Ooh, he also uh, has a I, Vigilance in hand. He didn't play the Repair? No, he didn't have time. He had to Super Laser Blast and then Entrenched. And that was... I guess he's at 10 resources. So. Oh, because he... I thought he had to Repair to stay alive. Uh, No, he had to Claim to stay alive. Uh, the round before okay. this. So now he has to repair to stay alive. <laughs> or uh, he also has Vigilance, which which keeps him alive as well. Uh, make an opening? Okay. Oh, that sets up a kill with the Vigilance. There's that Frontier Trader in hand. Frontier Trader is an interesting card. It helps you in end game scenarios, um, but it feels kind of inefficient before then. Watch that blaster on Boba. That's big. Uh, doesn't prevent the um, the vigilance kill. Now Ryan's back to 24 health. So he's got some breathing room. Seventh fleet defender. That one's difficult to out. Wish you wouldn't have thrown away your making opening for that Boba now. But. Ooh, he top decked another vigilance and another making opening. Ryan's getting everything he needs here. To stay in this game. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. He uh he he accidentally milled like one of the best cards he could have drawn, and then had to shuffle it away, and then still is like caught all this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, DJ coming out again.
mean, there's no immediate way to just kill the DJ. Frontier Trader might give him access to a way. <laughs> Here it comes. Frontier Trader. Picks back up. I think that was a takedown I saw. Yeah, it's a takedown. And I'm I think I think he has four up still, so we can clear the DJ. Greedo. Yep, and there's takedown on the DJ. And the trader now is going to be able to take out the Greedo next round, which is big. <laughs> and Ryan is actually <laughs> sort of starting to stabilize. And he's getting... I'm not sure how many cards he has in deck, but he's got to be pretty low. Cantina Bouncer and Forlom both deal with this Frontier Trader, which might allow Greedo to get an attack in uh, on Carlos's end. Greedo coming in. He has restock though. Yes, he, he does have restock. Um, I'm saying that's a good thing because once he gets once he gets to within restock range, he can actually start um, trying to win the game instead of just surviving. <laughs> yeah. And if I saw it correctly, I think he drew the third vigilance. <laughs> like you do. Okay. Who, oh, uh, he's going to bounce her his own torrent. Bouncer is going to get back that threat. Yeah. Uh, Bazine coming in. I think, man, it feels bad to leave Cunning there, but I th think you have to get rid of this Toro. Gives them the opening to maybe hit that vigilance. Yeah. Boba. I'll just skip with the Boba. I think his hand is repair two copies of vigilance, and I'm not sure what the third one is. And I think that was the repair. Yep. Twenty-two damage, eight left. We've been right around in here for a while now. Yeah, I was unable to really get any extra damage. Vigilance deals five and mills. Seventh fleet, Bosk, Forlom, Gunship, Greedo, Cunning. All right, good hits. I think it was restock was the fourth card. It's not getting milled, or is it? Uh, I think there's one in his hand. There one might have been one that got milled also, but I, okay. he's on. Uh, how do you how do you play? Um, he's on three. Yeah. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Like you could easily hit all three. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah, I've been on three for a while. Uh. So, because technically, like, there's a loop you can do where you're guaranteed to... Because Afra sometimes messes up your restock endgames, but if you have three restocks, then it never happens, because no matter what, you'll always draw one. Because theoretically, with two, it could end up, like, the top and the bottom, which means one gets milled one round, one gets milled the next round. So if you're only looping two, then sometimes you can lose, but... And... 
Looks like Cunning there is just going to end the game. I think it hit the Vigilance, which means there's no way to, to deal with this. So Carlos, after all that, it looks like got the first game. What do you do? He sneaks him out. Seems like his build uh, is able to pressure a control deck pretty pretty consistently and, and um, repeatedly throughout a game, though. What do you think uh, Ryan's looking to bring in here? Uh, let's see. Looking at his sideboard. <laughs> He's got some interesting ones. I'm definitely bringing in top targets. Uh, ooh, change of heart is in there. I'm not. That one's kind of weird. Uh, I don't. I, I think there's maybe an argument to bring in change of heart here, but I don't think he will. I think it's mainly for other control decks. Um, Forlom as a one of is pretty solid. Sometimes you just need to be able to clear things. There are lots of times like with um, with Toro, you often get bounty hunters that have you know four health left. So as a one of, I think I'd bring in the four lom. Moisture Farmers, um, <laughs> that's interesting. I honestly, I think I probably would bring in the Moisture Farmers. Um, here, three Moisture Farmers, three well, Top Target, one four lom is probably what I'd bring in. I don't know what I'd take out, though. scenario it is getting getting behind on damage, you know, and getting yep. behind on life total and and having to defend, him, defend himself rather than, you know, move towards winning. Yeah. On Carlos's side, he's got a shoot first, no good to me dead, Bodhi Rook. Oh, Bodhi's only in the sideboard. I'm definitely bringing in Bodhi's. Um, yeah. DJ, good morning, guards. Yeah, Maybe I bring in the third DJ. I think that's it, though. DJ definitely seemed pretty great. Yeah. Always had I mean, to remove it. So yeah. It's just a hallmark a of a good, a good threat. effectively a free card you know yep yeah um anything that that can push damage really fast is Pretty rough matchup for these harder control decks. Um, this is one of the reasons I think like a lot of like, well, I guess I was the only one that was, there's, there's not many people that are on Afra over Boba. Uh, but I think a, right. a, one of the good arguments for running Boba is that it's, I think at least a little bit better into these um, aggro decks. Mm. Yeah. I, 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 I that, that's a thing I was uh, I wanted to get into about Boba is just like the way you I feel like the way you lose with control X in this format is like when you get into that critical when aggro gets into that four or five turn and they're able to like just load a whole bunch of damage on you before you can really get anything going like just getting to on top of a few resources ready a few resources and take like two or sometimes even three actions in those turns can really swing games for you. Yep. It's so much sweeter to cycle your discard pile over and over again. Zine. Gonna get rid of that Bodhi Rook. Keep the keep the hand protected. Close hand looking pretty strong here. Yeah. I 
Avenger shows up early. Oh, he's got two copies of Avenger. Yeah, I definitely resourced one of them at this point. Uh, he didn't see any Avengers last round, um, last game, which maybe could have turned the tide if he had seen one. Yeah. Um, it's Avenger. Avenger good here against all the all the bounce cards they have. They like to, um, I guess a couple strategy. I, if you play it right, it is, yeah. If, if like, you play it okay. towards, like, you, you don't want to be in the scenario where you play it and then they have, like, all of their resources still open then they just bounce it and then go after you and you don't have any resources to stop what they do that turn. Um, yeah. But, I mean, in general, it, it is a good way to, to start to close out games if you can get it to stick. And like yeah, if, if they just ahead. you know if they're just consistently trying to remove it to stop the threat, then you just play it back again and keep killing their guys. So yeah, that's true. You have to be smart about it, but it it is good in this matchup. Cunning here, that's big. Nothing's gonna be able to stop that seven. Ooh, bouncing the bazine there is interesting. I'm not sure. Why he did that? But man, this is a lot of damage. Press the Boba yeah. flip turn too. Boba flip turn, they do a lot. They a lot of things happen on them. <laughs> yep. So he's at what thirteen plus. Four more, probably. Yep. I I think are they debating whether he gets to? Oh, I guess I guess that sort of makes sense why he did the bazine is because he wanted to put the boba trigger online so he could play this mercenary gunship. Uh, takedown in hand clears like seventh fleet, but you're still, he's on six. He needs two more turns to get to super laser blast. Uh, okay. He can clear the fire spray here. Thank God. Uh, but seeing Toro there is not great. Um, uh, Carlos should get a draw here from the BZ. Yeah. Um, should we? Should we let the judges know? Um, if, yeah, probably. That is, it is a mandatory thing. And Ryan's already at 24. I think he has a Vigilance in hand, which he can play next turn. Oh, maybe not. Looking at, oh, no, he does. He does have a Vigilance. Which would clear the Mercenary, but... If this draw here that they forgot is another Bounty Hunter, that's another three from Toro right away. And another two guys on the board. Like, either way, it's going to be like Toro plus Mercenary and Ship on the board. And I'm not sure what that card was, but it looks yellow. And so we, yeah, we resolved the three from that. Oh, it, it is Boba. Oh, oh no, it's Bodhi. Sorry. Bodhi is actually big here because Bodhi clears the vigilance. And I think we might be looking at a, a 2 0 here for Carlos. Pressure on. Both, both, especially that first game. Like, just. 
kept it going the whole time. It's like, yeah, pretty impressive. Ooh, and we get the early after flip. That actually, that would clear the Toro when it comes down. Let's see. Is that, he can't pick both Frozen and Carbonite and Power of the Dark Side. They have to be different costs. Um... Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Reading out for one. No. I think he's counting his cards trying to... Maybe? I don't know. Let's no, see. I don't know what's fun. Okay, well, he gets the power of the dark side. I do remember Afra does have to be a different cost. I mean, technically that was not a legal selection of targets there. Um, oh, really? Did but they back yeah. it up? Uh, I mean, it probably doesn't matter that much. Um, at this point, like, I, I wouldn't rewind for that. Um, but just for, for the viewers, make sure you're following that. Good one's going away. The effort is a five, though. So she can clear either of these. But I think, yeah, that's just going to be it. And Ryan scoops him up. Good games. First one was a lot closer, but 